I've got into a habit on this channel of testing some really weird bike stuff. Today is no exception. I think this is the best one yet. What is it? Well, you've got to open it and find out. Unboxing, it's YouTube. This isn't for me though, presumably. Please, not another one for me. Looking at these makes my skin, like, crawl a bit. Metal what bits. What the hell? Tire levers. Fresh from Amazon. Holy tires. Why? Uh, well, because you would never get a puncher. Yeah, but why are the holes? To create uh, comfort. The solid tires that we tested before, and they weren't very good. They were uncomfortable because they were solid. Whereas these, they've built in comfort holes. Like you get in crumpets. Yeah, they make you feel. I don't think you can say they comfort make you, holes. They make you feel comfortable. I they, am almost certain that these are going to be as bone shaking. What's it taste like? Yeah, good, yeah. Not like a crumpet. <laughs> it hurt my tooth. I had a tooth taken out <laughs> literally two days ago. They were like, don't do anything strenuous. No, 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 no. There's loads of uh, there is not. compliance. No. So these are Amazon special tubeless honeycomb tires. You can buy these for about 70 pounds each from Amazon. That's where I ordered them from. And I ordered red ones and then they emailed me saying, we don't have that color anymore. We've upgraded them and made them better. Have these ones instead. So I said, yeah, that's fine. They took about four weeks to arrive and today's video is gonna be installing and riding them. Of course, they have all the same benefits as solid tires do. For example, never having a puncture ever. Last time we tested solid tires on this channel, we put them on my race bike and unfortunately they didn't ride very well. Oh, it's the coolest bike I own. How did you even carry this over? Super strong, I've been doing press ups. So many things in the way. You need a big studio, Francis. Yeah, we should organize that. 90 Scott Sawtooth, really cool mountain bike. Hasn't been ridden since I installed these tires, actually. But now is an excuse to ride it. I don't now, remember the last time that I needed spanners to take a wheel off. Now, last time we installed solid tires on this channel, it was quite difficult. We ended up having to go to the bike shop because it was more than a one man job. I have Jimmy here. Hopefully we won't have to go to the bike shop today. They've given us some metal tire levers and uh, I think pre-stretching these might be a good tactic. You basically have to stretch them onto the wheel and then the inner of the tire should just sit in the channel where your uh, where the bead of your normal tire would. Aye, aye. We need your help. So can you put that tire on that wheel? These are an absolute <laughs> aren't they? Can I be honest with you? No, that is the ma- Jimmy's halfway there. There is not a chance this is going on. That's taken 20 minutes to do, to almost do what, 10 centimeters. And that doesn't even factor in how much short the tire is from <laughs> and contrary to your oh it adds comfort there is no giving this at all have some faith we'd be better off cutting that whole track off and gluing them on <laughs> i'm like the world's strongest man and a geordie just feel all me inner northern coming back after that trip to London. Keep you rolling, keep it. rolling it. I'm, I'm, I've got it. I'm pushing it down so it won't. Done sideways. It's right, it'll pop, it'll pop. Oh. I've got to sweat on, haven't I? <laughs> and the beauty is, because it's a front. Just switch it around. Front, it's on backwards, yeah. And we that managed one, to put- That one that is backwards, you can just see how well it's the rear, so you want more grip, so the direction. We've done a video on that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, That's it, pretty well, much gone, it. The bottom. Yeah, it's pretty much on. We should have taken the rim tape off and then it would have been even easier. It was the hammering working no what you need is just put them on the bike and just get someone really heavy to ride them in nick i was thinking heavier like big daddy or someone like that who's big, who's big, daddy? big daddy who's big da oh, i'm not probably showing me age here aren't i <laughs> is that working <laughs> you should see what you look like <laughs> no no it's come off let it come off i've just been sat next to the sweatiest scotchman on the train like stunk all the way back from london i'm sure it wasn't you i might have to get topless <laughs> My watch said, have a, have a restful day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just call me the world champion of putting solid tires on rims. Did you say honeycomb? Where's the honeycomb? No, it's just circles cut in isn't it they've just drilled holes in the side <laughs> I can't it's a tannis tire with just holes drilled in it i can't believe you paid 70 pound each for them i semi <laughs> feel like you've been robbed so once you've stretched the tires onto the rim unfortunately half of it will probably seal be off 
So you have this metal tool, it's kind of shaped like a tire lever. Probably not ideal that it's made of metal because it's damaging the rim very slightly. And then you push the channel into the wheel, round and round, very slowly. One hour later. I've got the world's biggest blister on my finger. Why didn't you just oh, well, actually, stop? I've got, to, I've got to ask myself, why have I done this? Why have I done this to myself? To get solid rubber tires? Any like mechanical that? problem, Tony finds them and just fixes stuff. He can't not let, he's still going. I know. Why are you it's, doing that? It's actually hurting. <laughs> right, I'm done. I'm going for him. This is why he's such a good bike racer, isn't it? He's like, oh, this hurts. <laughs> I'll just keep going. Oh, my leg's hanging off. <laughs> he's still doing it. Okay. What are you doing? Put it down. I know, but it's like, it's. But just so you know, you have been defeated. <laughs> At least with the Tannis tyres, the ones we used before, there was peace of mind. Because of all the little plastic inserts, it locks it into the wheel. Here, you think there's it's nothing. Roll off? Well, it's yeah, I feel like it's going to roll off. There's no way it's going to happen. I think as you ride them, they're getting more stuck in there. They feel exactly the same as the completely solid ones. Do the nothing. comfort circles. The comfort circles do nothing. It's a nice idea though. Te like, they should make a difference, but they don't. Is this guy just getting out of his car? Been riding a few minutes now and the tyres have not seated at all. They're still not true. So they're wobbling around everywhere. Maybe a bit of like bouncing. It's such a hard compound. I think that's the mistake they've made. Surely with all these holes, it should be more comfortable. And presumably what they're made of is so solid that even with holes in it, it's still solid. They were never going to be a good option. I'm sorry, Francis, they just weren't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that is a lot more comfortable than the tennis tyres that Emily used to have. That was hideous. As soon as you even corner slightly, it feels like the bike's gonna fall over. It's very odd, isn't really it? Really weird. Is it because they're so flat? I don't know what it is, but for some reason... Then you're engaging the side of the tyre, which is where the holes are like thinnest. I mean, it's a nice idea. Oh, you can it, hear them. Why does it feel like they're going to fall off? We highlighted in the last time we tried solid tyres, there is a perfect use case for these. Granted, a set of gator skins or something really, really with loads of puncture protection is a decent option as well. But if you absolutely cannot afford to puncture, for example, Emily, uh, Jimmy's partner, she used to commute through London at four o'clock in the morning from her work. And she didn't want to have to stop by the side of the road for safety reasons. In that situation, solid tires were a pretty good choice. These have all of the same benefits and they also have comfort holes. I guess the conclusion here is that I wouldn't recommend them because of the mounting, one being really, really annoying, takes ages, it took three of us to get them both mounted and a couple of hours of like sticking the little tool in the side. Two, they feel like they're gonna fall off if you corner on them and that's not confidence inspiring at all. The Tannis tires have little plastic inserts which lock them into the rims, these don't. Amazon special tires, thumbs down. Ooh. That's terrifying, and that was just coming in a circle. <laughs>